one, I'm proud that I was the author of the CHIPS legislation, going to provide $54 billion in efforts to bring chip manufacturing back to the United States, increase research and development. There's additional tax credits because if all this chip production resides in Taiwan or China, that is a national security issue as well as a lack of a jobs and innovation issue here in America and Virginia. So I'm very interested in making sure that we get one of those chip manufacturers, they're called FABs here in Virginia. Some of the big ones will require literally 2,000 acres. So we only have about four mega sites. One of those sites are down in Pennsylvania County. One's over in, uh, in, in Chesterfield. Um, but there are a host of other companies along the supply chain in chips that make the equipment that goes on the floor. Some of these companies that are frankly raced in Taiwan that would look to relocate here. We're working with the governor and our universities to make sure we have a sophisticated plan to bring that home. We got it, we're behind. Other states have put up a lot more money and we need both additional state resources, but we also need a whole plan on how we target which companies we want to go after. I'm a, I'm a big believer that space offers huge opportunities. When we think about um, a lot of the rare earth minerals that we may be dependent upon you know, countries like China for now in terms of electric batteries, for example, you know, evidence is that they may be abundant in space, whether moon, asteroids, other planets. And I do think the idea of deep space exploration based on nuclear is clearly a path that needs to be explored. Remember, we've seen a revolution in space and rocket use with, with SpaceX, the ability to launch a rocket and actually reuse it. I think the same notion of changing the fuel mix, potentially using nuclear, is a proposal we ought to explore. Last question to you. you did